Welcome back to the Tamandaya Hockey Stadium. It is time for match two on day two of the 11th edition of the Sultan of Johor Cup. And that sees Pakistan taking on New Zealand. We'll now have the national anthems and the first national anthem will be the national anthem of Pakistan. And now we'll have the national anthem of New Zealand. And great to see both teams applauding each other's. Not so bad today. And there was a little bit of a breeze as we get this game underway. Colhan shaping to go the reverse stick was Leakat. Leakat now pushes it forward into the circle come Pakistan. Little turn from Abdul Qayyam. It gets it across to the top of the circle. And a penalty corner. It is Ward who is penalised. So first penalty corner of the match goes the way of Pakistan till from a penalty corner he showed that yesterday in the game against India and he's going to get the first chance today to let New Zealand see what he is capable of he lines up at the first battery Sufyan at the second it goes to Arbaz low down and it goes under the postman and into the goal Colhane tried to keep it out but Pakistan take the lead and it is Arbaz again with his third goal of the tournament. Challenge from John T. Elms. The minute that happens, it makes it easy for the umpire. Good anticipation again defensively, but Pakistan come up with the ball again across the face of goal. Good save initially, penalty corner though. Arbaz again at the first battery. Sufyan again at the second. Goes to Arbaz. And it's a good save from Elms this time. Back to Arbaz and that was a wild swing. Are done by and they need to make sure they keep this one out because 1-0 at halftime is going to be much easier to, for the coach to talk about a fight back than 2-0 as Arbaz waits. Sufyan at the second battery. They go to Arbaz again. Saved on the line and the shot, the rebound goes in. And it's Basharat, I think, who scored it. Michael Jackson would approve. Oh, 
Ball play back by Pakistan. Goes straight back to Mataza. Past two of them. Good pass and it's well take it. It's a penalty corner. Off the foot, says the umpire. And it's off the pads and cleared. So a really good save that time from Ali Raza. Find Elms. Elms along the baseline are going to pull it back. It goes over. It'll be a penalty corner. It's a good interplay between Lintz and Elms. Raza. Or will they use Scott Coslett? who's at the second battery they go to Aldred again it's a good trap it's off the first runner back and thrown forward by Arbaz and it almost found its mark with the run of Ashraf but the hooter goes and that is the end of the third quarter with one draw and one win New Zealand will be sitting second they are in pool B feeds it forward now for Shahid Shahid looks to take on Frazier. Gets a free hit just outside the circle. And that's going to be a penalty corner. That was silly. Aldred moving in, I think, a little bit too soon. Danger. They go to Sufyan this time. Oh! He beats Scanley at his left-hand post. And that is now 3-0 to Pakistan. Time in the midfield by Zikria. So New Zealand have the ball. It's going to break kindly for them, top of the circle. It may well be a goal. It is indeed. Well, well crafted in the end by New Zealand. And every team that has won it is playing in this tournament this year. Good work again inside the circle. Well, that'll be a penalty corner. Of course, the no longer kicking fullback. So Culhane is the sole man, the captain. There's a shift. Ward goes to the first battery. They set it up. Aldred, they've got it. Well, a really good finish. The clock stops, of course, for the goal. And, and the New Zealand player is trying to say, look, if he does, we're close enough. It could be danger. Mataza plays it wide. It is thrown long now. Coming across and stolen by Shahid, but he knew that that was an infringement and it will kill time. So deliberate infringement to run the clock down. And Pakistan come away with the three points. But New Zealand came back well in that match and showed that this is a team with plenty of talent and plenty of spirit. Pakistan, though, a little bit too polished, you'd have to say. And that is why the final score reads Pakistan 3, New Zealand 2.